I'd like to experience more pleasure during sex. I'm Chloe Cross and I'm in search of better and different sex. Recently there's been a resurgence of pagan sex and I want to understand why so many are turning back to this ancient way of getting kicks. One of the things I really like about paganism personally uh, in terms of sexuality is the fact that I'm gay yeah. and I feel very welcome. It's something that you can celebrate. Do you use rituals and sex? An example of how sexuality and ritual can come together is the festival of Beltane during springtime where people start to feel a greater sense of rowdiness and sexualness yeah. um, as the weather gets warmer. <laughs> I want to delve deeper into pagan sex rituals and see if they can help my own sex life. Shawnee Love is a sex therapist who uses paganism to unlock people's passions. So a lot of my work has a background in ritual and ceremony and pagan ideals and sort of pagan archetypes or gods and goddesses. So divinity is in myself, awakening it, feeling it, and divinity is in other people, my clients, my lovers, okay. and sort of helping people awaken it inside themselves to bring them to life. Yeah. What kind of ritual are we, are we going to do now? Are we going to try and awaken the fierceness in me. Would you like to do that? Maybe we could try. Okay. So giving up safety and giving up power yeah. can be a really powerful thing for people to do. Physically surrendering can really be symbolic of spiritually doing the same thing. I've got you completely. Really? And my ritual dagger, which is very sacred to me. So it's like using this symbolically to cut a hole through this world and the other world. So we're going to do a little bit of a ritual called the Lesser Banishing Ritual of the Pentagram. Shawnee is calling in the darker forces to surround me and draw out my shadowy feelings. Malkut. Vegavora. Arte. The dark forces are making me feel a bit weird, but I can see why others might want to dabble with these powers. Magic is at the core of the pagan sex scene and it's used to help people connect fully with their sexuality. Rowan is going to help me address my personal issues. My job is to demonstrate that sex and spirit can be and indeed are one and the same. Once you've done sex magic, I mean, there are lots of lovely kinds of magic out there, but given the choice, it's really so no coming you. back. <laughs> Chloe, one thing that you would like to manifest, call in or change in your life? I'd like to experience more pleasure during sex and come more frequently. Great intentions. <laughs> Do you have a sense of a very simple image? that could encompass that for you or hold that intention for you this time. You know that band, Him, and they had the heartogram. I'm going to warm up the altar. If you'd like to do the first part of your symbol. This time, breathe in and hold. <laughs> so now your job is to forget about it, and now it's up to something else to do the rest of it. Only time will tell if the ancient gods can make me orgasm more. For now, paganism seems like a hopeful path to connect with others and our inner urges.